Hi friends, good evening and welcome back to my channel Mukambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC Nursing Officer exam preparation. Exam is on 7th July. In this video, we can see one word type questions and answers and important point. Surely, these points will helpful for your exam preparation. First question, inflammation of the mouth is called answer stomatitis especially inflammation of the mucous membrane of the mouth is called stomatitis and inflammation of the tongue is called glossitis and foul smelling of the breath is called halitosis foul smelling or bad smelling of the breath is called halitosis and the next question most of the iron absorption occurs at which part of the stomach it is duodenum and next is inflammation of the gums is called gingivitis and the next question inflammation of the salivary gland is called sialadenitis sialadenitis means inflammation of the salivary gland and inflammation of the gum is called gingivitis and next question most common site of ulcerative colitis is rectum and the next question most common site of herpes disease is rectum most common site of ulcerative colitis is also rectum and herpes disease also common site is rectum herpes disease is one of the congenital anomaly it is also known as congenital a ganglionosis or a ganglionic megacolon okay another name of herpes disease is congenital a ganglionosis or a ganglionic megacolon and the next question corrective surgery for herpes disease is, is duhamel procedure duhamel procedure is the corrective surgery or corrective operation for herpes disease and the next question most common site of peptic ulcer in stomach is it is pyloric portion of the stomach and Next question, most common site of curling ulcer is proximal duodenum. Peptic ulcer is pyloric portion of the stomach and curling ulcer, the most common site is proximal duodenum. Curling ulcer means is a gastric ulcer due to necrosis of the inner mucosa of the stomach due to burns. Okay, this ulcer, curling ulcer occurs due to burns and it causes necrosis of the inner mucosa of the stomach. And the next question. Current jelly-like stool is seen in indecisception. And ribbon-like stool is seen in herpes disease. And pencil-like stool is seen in colorectal cancer. So first, current jelly-like stool is the characteristic feature of indecisception. A ribbon-like stool can be seen in case of herpes disease. And pencil-like stool is seen in colorectal cancer. And the next question, the part which is most commonly affected in Crohn's disease is terminal ileum. So terminal part of the ileum is most commonly affected in Crohn's, Crohn's disease. And the next question, vitamin supplements needed after gastrectomy is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is also known as cyanocobalamin. And the next question, the test used for the diagnosis of H. pylori is urea birth test. H. pylori is the bacteria which cause helicobacter pylori is the organism which cause peptic ulcer. And the next question, dumping syndrome is the complication of subtotal gastrectomy. Dumping syndrome means it is the rapid emptying of the gastric content into the small intestine. It is mainly occurs after gastric resection. Here, dumping syndrome is the complication of subtotal gastrectomy. And the next question, Osteoblast are known as bone forming cell and osteoclasts are known as bone destroying cells. And the next question, total number of bones in human body is 206. And same important point, total number of muscles in human body is 639. Bones 206, muscles 639. And largest bone of the body is femur and smallest bone of the body is tapis. Tapis is one of the middle ear bone which is present in the middle ear. 
And the next question, smallest vertebra is cervical vertebra and largest vertebra is lumbar vertebra. First cervical vertebra is atlas and second cervical vertebra is axis. So smallest vertebra is cervical, largest is lumbar. First cervical vertebra is atlas and second cervical vertebra is axis. And the next question, first bone ossified in human body is clavicle bone. And this next question, complex joint of the human body is knee joint. And movable bone in this skull is mandible. Movable bone is mandible, complex joint is knee joint. And the first bone which is ossified is clavicle bone. And the next question, bone to muscle is connected by, bone to muscle connection is by tendon. And bone to bone is connected by ligaments. Okay, it's very important point, bone to muscle is tendon, bone to bone is ligament. And the longest muscle of the body is sartorius. And the next question, instrument used to measure joint movement and angle is called a goniometer so goniometer is the instrument which is used to measure the joint movement and the next question and the next question cella turnica is the part of which bone it is spinoid bone cella turnica means it's the midline depression which is seen in the spinoid bone and the next question, length of vertebral column in male is 71 centimeter. And the next question, length of vertebral column in female is 61 centimeter. For male, 71 centimeter. And for female, the length of vertebral column is 61 centimeter. And the next question, scoliosis. Scoliosis means lateral curvature of the vertebral column or side to side curvature of the spine is known as scoliosis so the scoliosis means lateral curvature or side to side curvature of the spine and scyphosis means posterior curvature of the spine scoliosis means lateral curvature of the spine kyphosis means posterior curvature of the spine or Skyphosis means excessive curvature of the thoracic region. This is also known as hump back or it is also known as Dowager's hump. So kyphosis is also known as hump back or Dowager's hump. And the next is lordosis. Lordosis means increased lumbar curvature or backward arching curvature. Okay, increased lumbar curvature of the spine is known as lordosis. So, scoliosis means lateral curvature, kyphosis means posterior curvature of the spine and lordosis means increased lumbar curvature of the spine. And the next question, Binet fracture. Binet fracture means fracture of first metacarpal or thumb bone fracture is known as Binet fracture. Fracture of the first metacarpal bone or thumb fracture. And the next Question is boxer fracture. Boxer fracture means fracture of fifth metacarpal bone or little finger fracture is known as boxer fracture. And the next question ports fracture. Ports fracture means fracture of both medial and lateral condyle of the tibia and angle fracture. Okay, fracture of both medial and lateral condyle of the tibia and angle fracture is known as ports fracture. Binet fracture, boxer fracture, ports fracture. And the next question, bumper fracture. Bumper fracture means fracture of lateral condyle of the tibia is known as bumper fracture. And Jefferson fracture means fracture of atlas bone. Atlas is the first cervical vertebra. Fracture of the atlas bone is known as Jefferson fracture fracture and the next fracture is hangman fracture hangman fracture means fracture of axis bone and the next type of fracture is galaxia fracture means fracture of distal radius bone and the next type of fracture is mondegia fracture it is the fracture of proximal ulnar bone fracture of atlas bone is jefferson fracture hangman fracture is fracture of axis bone Galaxy fracture means fracture of distal end of radius bone and 
fracture of proximal ulnar bone is known as Mondegia fracture. And the next question is, musician nerve is ulnar nerve, laborous nerve is median nerve. Both are important question and previous year question. Musician nerve is ulnar nerve and laborous nerve is median nerve. And largest sesamoid bone is patella. This one word type questions are from previous year question purpose. Surely this questions will helpful for your exam preparation. If it is useful for your studies, please share my videos to your friend circle. And also subscribe my channel for getting more updation from my videos.